pandemic has hurt so many different businesses, including the music business. Now a band with ties to the Valley is making an effort to raise awareness for the people behind the music and the struggles of the pandemic. Here to explain is David Hope. He's the manager and drummer for a band called Apocalyptic Lovers. Good morning to you, David. How are you? I'm doing pretty well, Krista. It's a little early, but I'm, I'm doing well. How are you? Great, great. Uh, so <laughs> I wanted to ask you a little bit, if you could give us some insight, especially since you're kind of a boots on the ground kind of guy. Uh, what has the pandemic been like for people who work in the music industry? Um, I, I think it's pretty common knowledge for like how it's affected bands and all that kind of stuff. But what people don't really know are the people behind the scenes because you know we all go to concerts even as musicians we go see other bands and we go and enjoy it and we go home but we don't realize that there's like ticket takers there that that's a full-time job for them there's lighting designers there are audio designers and they're all like specialized type of jobs where it's very difficult for them to go and find other work so um, it, it's been very tough on a lot of them. Uh, my wife um, used to work for one of the largest uh, production companies in the Southwest, because uh, I'm currently in Arizona, moving back to Ohio soon. And, uh, and they have three different locations and they're basically running with skeleton crews. And uh, you know, a lot of people are laid off with families and you know, selling homes so they can live off that money to get by until they're back to work and nobody knows when they're coming back to work. And, you know, they're going to be the last ones up and running. So it's it's very scary. So you were seeing this firsthand and you decided you wanted to do something about it. Can you tell me what was the big idea that you came up with? Well, basically, we had a, an album that was all ready to be recorded and we were going to support it with a tour. And then COVID hit in March. And we were planning on releasing that album in 2020 and we decided, okay, that's not gonna happen. And I get really antsy and I and I saw this stuff going on around me, especially with the production company here that my wife used to work with and our friends. And you hear all sorts of stuff. And, um, you know, I started having fans of ours and friends of ours either text me or email me and we're like, man, you should do a video for your song, Better Days. The lyrics are so relevant right now, it's crazy. Cause my, my lead guitar player, uh, Sean, he, McGee, his name's Sean McGee. Uh, he wrote that song probably back in 1991, maybe. It's a it's a very old song of ours. And it's on a newer album of ours that we just put out. And it, it is really relevant, they were right. And I started talking to my wife and I was like, I was so bored and what can we do to help? And I don't know what to do. Cause you know, everybody's kind of struggling right now with this pandemic, whether it's music business or anything else. And uh, <clears throat> The, I don't know, just honestly, the idea just came off the top of my head that, wow, you know, streaming revenue, as little as it is, it adds up over time. And even if somebody can't donate directly to uh, Music Cares, which is, you can find Music Cares at grammy.com backslash Music Cares. Um, if you can't donate directly to there, like $5, like a, a cup of coffee, what you can do is watch our video and we are gonna donate 100% of the revenue of our video for Better Days to Music Cares um, through the next 12 months up to 12, 1231 of 21. So it's kind of that easy and, and kind of the inspiration behind the video, um, if anybody um, remembers the, the video for uh, Van Halen's Right Now, it was very inspired by that and then it was just we were just finishing editing and editing the video and then eddie van halen passed away so that was a little freaky <laughs> but that was the inspiration and kind of how we came up with it so i know uh the video what is it called better days how can we uh look at it how can we see it and how can we support those in the music business um as far as how you can see it you can go to the apocalyptic lovers youtube channel um we have links to it on our facebook and all that kind of stuff and uh, just and just watch it and as those views add up um revenue gets generated to the video and we get cut quarterly checks and anything for better days we'll send off to music cares and it's also not just the video too even the the song itself is streaming on all the major platforms like amazon music apple music spotify you name it um if you can't get the video or don't feel like watching the video you can stream the song and the same thing with the song too we're combining the two to hopefully make a significant uh donation to music cares by the time 1231 hits uh 2021 and uh what we get you know it's, it's a quarterly thing so every time we have to get a, a check cut to us we're going to send that off 
So that's ho what we're hoping will happen. Well, people will watch the video and share it all over social media, and hopefully we can get it to go viral. Well, thank you so much, David, for joining us and sharing that with us today. You have a good morning, okay? Thank you very much. You guys have a great day. That's a name you probably won't forget. Apocalyptic lovers, okay? It's pretty easy to Google. Steve?